What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, jumping back into the Supra again, and we're gonna try and clean up the engine bay a little bit. It's not as pretty as I would like it. it it's pretty, but not as much as I want. So we're gonna jump in and make up some beauty panels today for the back corners, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So at the moment, I mean, she looks all right, but I do wanna cover that back panel there. So kind of a, a beauty panel that's gonna cover that section and also one that's gonna do the exact same over this side. So when you actually look in, that section will be wrinkle black and so will that. So I've got some alley plates that I'm gonna do that with. So I need to make up some cardboard templates and they will look a little bit something like this. So that's essentially what they're gonna look like. They are gonna have a little kick down piece here and there. So I'm gonna go and transfer them across to some alley sheets, which I've got in the back. I'll actually show you the alley sheets right now. So that was the one I used for the thermo fans. If you wanna watch that video, click up here. And it's just these two alley sheets back there. So they're just flat, aluminium, half a mil thick. And we're going to, yeah, cut these out, then mock them up. And then I'm gonna paint them wrinkle black so they look just like this. So we'll get like a bit of a, a theme going with the engine bay. That's kind of what I was after, and by kind of, I mean exactly. Now it's a little bit rippled around the edges, and have a bit of a play with that, sand it down a bit, sorry, uh, file it down a bit. But let's go see how these fit. So you can kind of see where I'm going with it. Now I need to fine tune it a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit off underneath here, a little bit off near that hose, open this hole up a smidge. Uh, Gonna cut that a little bit, sorry, gonna cut that a little bit shorter so it's going nowhere near that hose. The accelerator cable that comes here, I'm actually gonna reroute that behind there. And this one here, same, I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the bottom 
and fix it up there. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm actually quite happy with how this is gonna turn out. So if you can imagine that black, you know, wrinkle black, it's gonna look pretty tidy. So I'm gonna jump in, do some fine tuning, give it a bit of a paint with some wrinkle black, and then show you the final installation. All right guys, we are back. It's the next day. So I went through and cut all of those out as you saw. Off camera, I did a lot of fine tuning. I was putting it in, taking it out, putting it in, taking it out. Just making little marks where I had to file it back a little bit more to clear the, uh, the different reservoirs that I've got. So, I'll sh and then also I primed it all and I painted it with the wrinkle black engine enamel. So I'll show you what we've ended up with. So as you can see, the wrinkle black didn't work perfectly. I'm a little bit spewing over there, 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 you know, little bits like that. But overall, it came out really good uh, as, a, as, a, as a piece. So that one came up like that. And then this one over here came up a little bit better. But again, a little bit there that didn't work. Now, I followed the instructions to Anyone who wants to jump on and be like, bruh, follow the instructions. I did, I followed the instructions perfectly, um, but I feel like yesterday maybe it just wasn't warm enough and maybe some areas it wasn't as thick. It said to go with three coats. It says to paint it quite thick, but just coming from painting that bad boy, it was hard to, you know, paint it on thick enough. Um, just, you know because I was cautious. But I think it's come out quite good. Now I'm just going to line up here and in a couple of seconds they'll be installed like that. So they're in. As you can see, they're all bolted in now. Now they are held in with two bolts, one there and one under there. And this one here, bolt there and a bolt there. Now I can access these two reservoirs, which is nice, nice and tidy. And the dipstick I can access as well. The power steering reservoir is under that, but I'm okay with that because literally two bolts and I can access it. So things are coming together. They're looking a bit more, a bit tidier. I may repaint this, give it another shot with the wrinkle black, just because I'm not super happy how that turned out. Uh, but that's an easy thing just to do a quick repaint. Next up, I may try and do a home cold air intake box because I've got the air intake that sits right there or the, the hole that sits there and a lot of air can come in there straight down there to this vent. So I'll probably do some sort of ducting um, from there up into the side there. So it's kind of like a cold ram air kind of deal, but that will be in a future video. Let me know what you guys think about them. I like them. I think they look cool. If I do get sick of them, I can always pull them out because everything is reversible it's all easy oh and i also ran the accelerator cable under uh, at the firewall there and then just shot it across here instead of coming out here and going over the turbo because i didn't really like that look so i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope it was a little bit informative maybe someone out there can make one for themselves make two for themselves i know you can buy something similar to this but the guy that makes it is in the uk and because of everything going on at the moment apparently he can't ship to australia so i was like okay i'll make it myself and I think his was like 250 pounds, whereas this probably cost me 60 Australian dollars. So that's like, I don't know, 35 pounds or something, it's nothing. If you liked what you saw, like, subscribe, go and check out the other videos on the channel. And uh, yeah, apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Uh -huh.